Hi, I'm Carl Markman with Remit Wholesale. We're incredibly proud of our history of educating and partnering with the broker and banker community to prepare you for what's next. We've always been committed to same-day turn times on initial underwrites, which allows us to earn your business each and every day. We're happy to sponsor the following program. Leaders who share their knowledge for the betterment of the industry. The most followed, retweeted, and liked mortgage professionals. Most connected mortgage professionals. Brought to you by Remen Wholesale. And welcome back to another edition of National Mortgage Professionals' 50 Most Connected Mortgage Pros. For Mortgage News Network, I'm your host, Rick Grant. Now, in today's program, we have a real treat. He is a mortgage lending expert, probably one of the most successful on the Eastern Seaboard, but he's also an author, a speaker, and an expert all around. His name is Mark Demetrio. Mark, thanks for being with us. Rick, thank you so much for having me. Now, you're a, you're a branch manager as well, so you're, you're lending right now, right? We're busy here. We're, we're originating. We're running the branch. We're uh, doing what we can to keep, keep successful and keep things going. Excellent. Now, tell us about how social media fits into that because you're one of the 50 most connected mortgage pros according to National Mortgage Professional, so congratulations for that. But, but why? Why is social media so important? Listen, anything you do in life is about getting your name out there, whether it's about the old school face-to-face, -face, which is still a big part of my life. You know, shaking hands, meeting people, networking is still very relevant. But the social media part of the world is touching so many more people in an instant. So I've constantly been doing social media for years. And, and I'll call even email marketing is kind of social media but different, even just touching people. You know, with social media, you could put a message out and touch 5,000 or 10,000 people depending on your reach. And you could boost the post and, and reach more. So if you have a good message and you have a good reputation behind it, it's really powerful. So if you build your model of, Here's my accolades, here's my resume, here's my reputation, here's the stuff that can be found on the web for who I am. But now putting your name out there, people want to search you, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, now some may argue that if you already have a platform, it's going to be powerful. Now your book, Lessons from My Grandfather, that just came out this January. It's endorsed by some people everybody knows. It's doing really well. So I can understand why social media would be great for you. But why is it important for the average loan officer or, or maybe even the above average loan officer? Well, think about this. You want to get your name out there. You want to get your name known. So if you have no accolades, right, like, you know, if you have accolades, you have to do social media, then it's more powerful. But if you want to get yourself known, you have to be on the platforms. you got to be on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and a Facebook business page and Tumblr, you know, all these different places because you really, you want to make yourself be known. you got to get out there and you want to put good content out. So if you're an expert in your space, whether it's me as a mortgage expert or me as a book author or me as a speaker, you know, you want people to see and touch and feel you. So having some video, some content, if you're a real person, they're going to see like, wow, well, there's a genuine person. You know, I can say I can do, do business with that person. I can have a relationship with that person, you know. So it's powerful. You know, when you meet people and you have the vibe or they have the vibe from you within 30 seconds, like, wow, I can trust this person. I feel the vibe. So imagine putting that out there in a video or, or content. And the world can see it's it's really it's really explosive. So social media is very very important and essential for anybody's success. I love it. I love it. Now more brokers are starting to figure this out. More loan officers are figuring this out, but they're a little nervous. They haven't done it before. What's your best tip to get somebody started who should be doing this but hasn't yet? So it's very basic. There's very basic courses you could take online. Or you can go all these different chamber of commerces have these different social media uh, programs. So some place to start. There's LinkedIn programs all the time. So your local chamber of commerce, if you're not a member, you really should be anyway for networking purposes. But LinkedIn's a, a basic essential for business people. You have to be on LinkedIn, without a doubt. And then the second tier of Instagram and Twitter and Facebook in there. You know, these are places you can get easy lessons uh uh, brought, brought to you by either a, a person that's doing it on the side that, that you can pay some money, go to a chamber, or go online. There's a million YouTube videos and Tumblr videos, all sorts of stuff out there to understand it. But you got to start and, and just build it from scratch. Or you can hire a consultant or hire a social media company. Doesn't sound like there's any excuse not to do it. No, you, you really need to be doing it because, again, social media, if you think about the old school way, again, of going back to the original shaking hands one person at a time, and that's fine to build a business. But with social media, you can touch so many more people. And you have, if you have a great message, again, if you're a, a great person on video or if you have great, great information or a great reputation, think about, again, being out there and people can touch and feel who you are and understand who you are very quickly. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
So Mark Demetrio, thank you so much for being with us. But before you go, I want to find out more about this book. Didn't one of the Shark Tank people endorse this? What's the story? Yeah, so Barbara Corcoran, I actually spoke at an event with her and Tony Robbins on stage. And um, just a fantastic uh, event. I got to uh, talk to Barbara a little bit. I, s I sent her the manuscript to my book. She loved it. She endorsed it. She's going to cover my book with her endorsement. And um, I'm very blessed by that. But the book has really done very well. It's, uh, it's an inspiration, motivational, success-based book. Uh, with my grandfather's story kind of built in and woven into it. Really, as my mentor, he taught me so much in life, and he was successful. He's trained me now. I've been successful. So I'm kind of giving back this mentor to the world to say, here's the message. Here's the story. We, we've both done it. We've both been successful. Now this is for you to be, you know, inspirational for you. Um, the book's available, uh, you know, on Amazon and many different online sites. But you can go right to my website and see a sample chapter and all the endorsements at grandfatherlessons.com. And that's a great place to start. And then also you can follow me on Instagram at, at Mark Demetrio. That's uh, M-A-R-C-D-E-M-E-T-R-I-O-U. And I have pictures and old stuff about the book on my Instagram as well. Fantastic. And the book title again is? Lessons from My Grandfather, Wisdom right. for Success in Business and Life. Fantastic. Mark Demetrio, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today. Thank you, Rick. My pleasure. Thanks to all of you for watching. And thanks to our sponsor, Remen Wholesale, for making this program possible. Until next time, for Morgan's News Network. I'm Rick Grant. This is Mortgage News Network.